Hello, today we are going to capture a turntable animation out of our 3D model. We will use one free portable software for that. If you found this video insightful, subscribe to the channel and to support me and download all the Revit models in my tutorials, check the link in the description. To download the software, go to Google and search for Screen to GIF. Go to the first query and press, then download the portable version. After the file is downloaded, you can extract the contents in your desktop or just open the file. Click twice on the exe file inside. This user interface will appear. We will use only the recorder for this tutorial. So press once and you will see this window with transparency inside pop up. Go to Revit and now we can use this window flexibly to capture a particular view. So let's see what happens when we click on the view cube on the upper right side. Okay, so it's automatically fixed to view. Yeah, we want to modify that and pick this particular mass for our recording or animation needs. So click on the view object wheel and Right click on the wheel, make sure you have the full navigational wheel. Use the center when you see green on the center. Click and drag the pivot point to that element you want to capture. Now we have the pivot point set up, but we still need to modify the view. Because if we just clicked on the um, view cube any any time now it will re-modify the view so just cl right click again and open options go to view cube options uncheck fit to view on view change and ok press escape and navigate between the views we can zoom in Let's try navigating now. That looks okay-ish, but we still have the opportunity to center as much as we want. Now, if we are done with centering the pivot point, we can start recording. So. Click once on record and keep the mouse on the side of the cube and record for transitions. Then click stop. You will have a lot of duplicate frames and we don't want that. So just go to edit, remove duplicates and make the similarity 90%. Keep it as remove the first frame and don't adjust, apply. Without any duplicates, it should look fine. We can click on file, save as, select the location you want to save your animation at and rename the animation then save. When it's finished, you can open the folder it's contained in and just open the GIF. Let's try doing a one object turntable with transparency on. So everything goes with exactly the same way 
chord one two three four stop yes edit remove duplicates 90 percent apply play yeah file save as enable transparency select which color drag this if you want to pick a certain color on the view then ok rename it and save and here we have it we can take the options we have one step further by using Autodesk Viewer. So go to Collaborate tab and Publish Settings. Select None and only select the 3D view that we will use. Save and Close. Shared Views. Click and create a new shared view. Save the model first, Control S, and create a new shared view. Let's name it 3D and share. I have previously created two models. You will not see these, of course. So just wait for the shared view to be extracted and published on web. The process is done. You can view in the browser. Close this window. And in Autodesk Viewer, there is in Settings tab, you have all these menu bars and the Settings bar. Click on it, Navigation. Then scroll down, you will see Orbit. Fusion Style Orbit can be turned on. Then Close. Now we have a fixed orbit path. But there is one disadvantage for, to that. Go to settings to see how that looks like. And go to environment, select the dark sky, and you will see what that looks like. Let's try to record a white background. Close the settings, zoom out and open screen to GIF again. Resize the window to fit your model. It could be um, however sized, but the importance here is using a one path and one transition animation press record click once on this horizontal line and drag then stop the recording do the same thing we did previously Delete any unnecessary keyframes by increasing the similarity percentage from edit, remove duplicates similarity percentage. Let's have an 85 similarity and apply. Now let's see how that looks like. That looks terrible. Okay, there is a potential. So let's remove all these last ones. Yes. And let's keep only the single. Delete all frames unnecessary. Let's keep only this one rolling. Ah, we still have a problem at the end. So it ends here. Delete the extra ones. 
and loop make sure you press on loop play and that's it in autocad we will need to go to the a of auto of autocad and go to options then display tab colors change the background to white if your model is dark but if your model is white just keep it as it is apply close and okay i hope that was useful please don't forget to subscribe like the video and share the link with other autodesk software users and architectural students thank you bye bye